Hey guys, today I'm making another bird art doll, a magpie. I start with the head. I make a ball of aluminum foil and use aluminum mesh to create the structure of the beak. I cover everything with cos clay, a flexible polymer clay, to make the head durable. The beak is posable and is based on a system similar to a hinge of a door. I create one part on the head and two parts on the jaws, which fit together tightly. I originally sculpted it with cos clay, but changed to a poxy sculpt and used a skewer instead of a bolt and a nut. I then sculpt the roof of the beak and the tongue. I continue with the armature. I use 14 gauge galvanized steel wire for the body of the adult. I cut two pieces, one for the height of the body and the other for the width. I glue them together without glue. For the feet, I cut four pieces of 18 gauge wire, one for each toe, and twist them together. I then make the claws with cos clay and bake them. I cover the feet with the same clay and attach the claws on the feet. I finish by putting long strips of flattened clay on them and sculpt the scales. After baking everything, I paint the head and feet of the art doll starting with a base color and adding highlights with a dry brush technique. I finish by adding two coats of varnish, a gloss varnish for the inside of the mouth, a satin varnish for the beak and claws, and a matte varnish for the feet. I continue with the wings. I cut a length of wire for the armature, fold it and twist it.
I use my reference to draw the pattern for the feathers and transfer it on felt. I cut a piece of wire to put inside the feather. I then put fabric tack on the piece of felt, put the wire in the middle and glue everything on the felt. I finish the feathers by putting tacky glue on the edge and cutting the border at an angle. I do the same thing for the feathers of the tail. I attach the feathers on the wing armature by wrapping the wire around it. I reinforce the structure with epoxy scalp, leaving a space for the articulation. I cut pieces of faux fur for the top part of the wings and sew them together. I then attach the fabric on the wings. Now it's time to assemble the art doll. I attach all the pieces on the armature, twisting the wires and reinforcing everything with hot glue and epoxy pulley. I finish the head by inserting the skewer and drill a hole at the base in order to glue the plastic armature for the neck. For the back of the armature, I put egg sinkers on the wires to balance the art doll and put aluminum foil inside the armature for support. I assemble the tail by twisting the wires of the feathers and fix everything in place with epoxy sculpt. I wrap strips of quilt batting around the armature to bulk the art doll. For the body of the art doll, I create a pattern. I wrap plastic film around the body and put strips of duct tape around it. I cut all the pieces of the pattern and transfer them on for free. I cut all the pieces of fabric and pin them on the art doll. I sew the pieces together using the ladder stitch and sew the tail. I do the same thing for the feet.
I glue the fabric on the head and feet with Fabri-Tac. I finish the head by putting fur on it. I shave the adult fur to the length I want using a hair clipper. I paint the feathers with acrylic paints mixed with Golden Gag 900. I finish by airbrushing some folk art color shift on the feathers. And the Ardol is now finished! I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you for the next project. Bye bye!